Hey guys, Chris James here. Which one should you buy? Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator? Let's find out in today's video. So this video is not going to be an in-depth review of both of the programs, but what it is going to be is going to be my sort of thoughts and feelings towards each of the programs and hopefully it'll help you make an informed decision on whether uh, you should go with Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer. So I want to talk first about Adobe Illustrator. Now I was first introduced to it at uni uh, because it was a program that they used and it made sense for me then to buy that program so that I could use it at uni and at home. So I first bought CS 5.5. Now at the time, there was Adobe was still doing uh, sort of the programs as a package that you could actually go out and buy in like Curry's uh, online. And once you bought it for for that price, you you had it for the lifetime in graphic design. So I mean, if you were going and getting a job in graphic design, you're probably going to need to learn Adobe Illustrator. Um, because it's, it's synonymous with graphic design, it's synonymous with the creative industry. Um, now, there are a few tools that I use on a regular basis and one of them is the pen tool. So in my job, um, predominantly I'm redrawing, recreating existing logos um, because I'll be like using them on banners large format prints and the logos that they've supplied are like tiny pixelated so i'll tend to redraw them so that they can enlarge them and get a really good logo at the end of it uh, so i use the pen tool to sort of get my shape out there get the like individual elements on the on the illustrator page and then I'll use like Pathfinder tool to sometimes subtract or unite shapes together so that I can kind of get custom uh, shapes and create them logos as they need to be. Now obviously with Adobe Illustrator it does come with a text tool which is perfect if you're wanting to do some text, uh, some type on there and it, you can also then sort of outline the type and colour individual letters and tweak the letters, letter forms, so it is really a good program um, and I mean there's, because Adobe Illustrator was built for the professionals, it's got to cater for like the beginners who are using it right through to the experts and I mean there's tons of programs um, out there that I don't know and there's, especially with Adobe Illustrator, there's tons of tools within Illustrator that I still not learned to its full capacity because I'm not needing to use it uh, like every day um, but like I said experts have got to use it so you can imagine how intricate and how kind of powerful a program it is especially as they're releasing constant updates improving on things to make it a lot easier um, and I mean there's it's like the simplest things so like in Illustrator you, you'd create a shape but then they've got these little dots now at either end of the like corners that you can just drag in and create circles or create um, corners to, to it and it's stuff like that that just makes life so much easier especially when you're doing it professionally it speeds up your productivity and it allows you to create so many different things it will take a lot to learn um, because of how many different tools there are and things like that um, so I mean if it's not for you, you don't want to have to learn all that, then maybe Adobe Illustrator is not for you. But if you are learning, you are say becoming a student and doing graphic design, it might be worthwhile getting. But that being said, the price, now they've, now they've stopped doing these um, software packages, the price that you have to pay every month is just crazy so they've got different packages for individuals so you've got your students people in education professionals like myself and businesses and they all have different price points and you can kind of opt in for photography only the full package uh, like photoshop and another program or something like that uh, but 
there's no kind of custom plans you can make. So like I only use three programs really, which is Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. So for them three programs, I'm paying a subscription fee. Uh, yeah, fair enough, if I want to learn any of the other programs, I can do that. But I'm still having to pay that £50 a month um, to use just three programs, which you might see it as like, oh yeah, it's great, you're paying 50 quid and getting all that. But you might think, well, if they reduce it and people can sort of pick which programs they want and it just add like add on to the subscription, then I think more and more people would be willing to do that. Um, but like I said, the price is just crazy. Um, and that's kind of what brought me to produce this video. I wanted to bring this video basically to show students that and people maybe wanting to get into graphics that they don't have to just buy Adobe. Um, I mean there are free alternatives out there such as GIMP and the likes of Inkscape but the one that I've read up on and heard like really good reviews and things about is Affinity Designer. So as I said before, um, I'd heard good reviews, good things about Affinity Designer, so I thought I'd best download it myself, find out what it was all about. So as soon as I downloaded it, um, I opened it, and I instantly thought it looked exactly like Adobe Illustrator. And I thought that was brilliant, because I thought, I'm downloading this other program, I've used Adobe Illustrator for 10 plus years, I'm not going to know where anything is, it's not going to feel familiar, but do you know what, downloaded it and it was almost like I was just in Illustrator, I felt so at home and basically what I found out was all the shortcuts are pretty much the same as well, so if you've been using Illustrator you can jump into Affinity Designer, shortcuts are the same so you'll still get speedy workflow, I just thought that was brilliant and one thing that did catch my eye was the beautiful colour palette at the top in this sort of circular and triangle shape. It makes like choosing colours so much easier. That's one thing I kind of don't like about Adobe Illustrator is I find it for myself uh, quite difficult um, picking colours. I mean they've got the colour books which obviously I know about you know, like your Pantones and all that kind of stuff but for basic CMYK colours um, sometimes it doesn't show it or I've had to kind of hunt down for that and put it into the little tab so I do find it hard whereas Affinity Designer colours are there, happy days, that's what I need to know um, so it's perfect for that so I didn't want to just download it and sort of have a look at it and then kind of say to you oh yeah it's good it's bad I thought I'd best give it a go. So what I did was download the Affinity Designer logo and I thought I'll see if I can recreate that using sort of the similar tools that I would in Illustrator. And I started off, I mean it wasn't too difficult but I'm, I'm so used to Illustrator that it was, it was difficult for me to pick it up. But I mean I don't think it's too difficult and I did pick it up quite well. It has the same tools, uh, like I said it has the same shortcuts. So to come up with that design, I mean, it was pretty easy to do. A feature what I, I particularly like is you can, it comes, obviously Illustrator, you have to use Illustrator, jump into Photoshop, back to Illustrator, if you're wanting to do any pixel based or raster um, artwork, whereas Affinity Designer, you can switch between the two simultaneously. So like if you're working as a, in a vector and you just want to add some sort of painted shading or anything like that to give it a more kind of hand felt look or if you're an illustrator and you don't like just putting block colours everywhere you want a bit of shading you can just flip over to the raster um, panel or like the raster section of the programme and you can start using paint you can just do so much more all contained within that program which I thought was brilliant so it does have tons of features as you can see here and the, the ones that there's too many to talk about but the ones that stuck out for myself were basically no zoom limitations so you can zoom into a million percent which I thought was brilliant if you're like me and 
you want to get nice and tight into the detail, make sure everything's aligned, make sure everything's lined up together and joined together perfectly. You can zoom in so much more uh, to make sure that that's perfect. It also has an 8,000 times undo button. So if you want to start your artwork, you've done so much and you want to go back 8,000 times, which I think is uh, unlikely, but you never know. Also, it has custom shortcuts. So like I said before, similar to Illustrator, you, you, your shortcuts are the same, but you can also add your own if you've got familiar ones that you want to use. And also what I found was cool was that it has no artboard limitations. So um, you can create your artboards like 10 meters by 10 meters if you want, which is perfect if you're doing large format work. Uh, whereas Illustrator, it kind of, you can't do that. It restricts you to a certain limitation, which is hard, like me, who's working on large scale projects that need to go like five, six, seven, eight meters wide and tall. You have to kind of either do it in separate sections or you have to put little comments on. So when you do send it down to get printed or made up, that they'll see that and go, I've got to upscale it 200, 300%. So, I mean, that's always a plus point. So, with the program, uh, like I said, I didn't pick it up that quickly because I was so used to Adobe Illustrator. But from looking at it, it will be tons easier to pick up. So, if you are a beginner and you're wanting to use a vector program, I would highly suggest... Uh, you consider Affinity Designer and the cool thing is it's only £48.99 for the whole program I mean that's like one month of Adobe's subscription I mean how great is that so I hope you've got some value from this and I hope it's give you a bit of an insight onto which one you think will be more suitable for you um, whether it will be Adobe Illustrator or Affinity Designer um, if you're a beginner and you've not yet used Adobe or you don't think you'll need to use Adobe, I'd definitely go for Affinity Designer. If you are a student or looking at getting into graphic design in an agency or anything like that, then I probably would go with Adobe Illustrator just because they're going to be using it, so it makes sense. But if you're not needing to do that, definitely go for Affinity Designer. Try it out. If you feel like you've outgrown it, you can always jump to Illustrator, but at least you've not paid that monthly subscription for something that you might not end up wanting to use at the end of the day. You might not use it, uh, whereas Affinity, one-off fee, can't go wrong, and it pretty much does exactly the same as Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to leave it there. If you've liked this video, let me know below. If you haven't liked the video, still let me know below because I want to improve on these videos um, and if you've got any feedback, I'm happy to listen. So, tune in for the next one. See ya.